Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Will Rogers Downs here on Monday. It's the 20th of March, 2023. Going to look at the eighth race from Will Rogers, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the eighth race from Will Rogers, which is an allowance race uh, for state bred Oklahoma horses, three year olds and upwards, number one at race and main claim starter, which never went through races here. Field of eight horses taking a lap around the Will Rogers main track, which is 16. Hundred meters around or one mile on that main track. I'm going to take as a top selection the number six horse, Cherokee Legacy, 6173 for me in the Superfecta. 6173 Super, top selection six horse, Cherokee Legacy, four year old gelding by Den's Legacy, Scott Young Trains. Floyd Weedy Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came in a starter allowance at Oakland, 25th of February, mile 16th there. He put a seven by nine, 19 and three quarter lengths there. And he broke okay that day, and from the inside, he just kind of stuck, but never really quick enough, kind of got beat by better horses. Refreshing here to Will Rogers, where he should get a better trip. I think he's in a better real house to um, to find the winner circle than he was last time out at Oakland. Those allowance races, um, those starting allowance races, even the claim races could come up very tough at times. This horse just wasn't handling it there. Prior to that, he ran at Sam Houston on 20th of January. Allowance optional claimer. One mile there. He uh, finished fifth by eight lengths there and just had nothing. He just never showed up. It wasn't his day to win. And then the Jim Thorpe at Remington. One mile on the 17th of December. He finished fourth by three in a quarter lengths. He showed potential early on, but then he just kind of got beat by better horses there. His last victory, I thought, was a terrific race on the 25th of November at Remington. Uh, Lounge race, one mile there. He won by a neck, basically on the front and all throughout. He really, you know, held on to a gritty performance. Um, you know, when he's not facing the tougher horses, he really shows up. Uh, before that, they ran in the Oklahoma Classic over the mile 16th at Remington on the dirt where he didn't show up. Uh, but before that, broke his maiden on the dirt at Remington going a mile 70, winning by a one and a quarter lengths from a tracking position. He took off clear down the class ladder training well here at Will Rogers last week had a workout four frongs 50 and one fifth of a second 31st best workout 52 I think he's rearing to go I'm going to use him I think the one horse Rowdy Rivers your second likeliest winner he won here going five and a half on the 7th of March very nicely off the bench uh, and then he broke the main going five and a half before the Remington first I run two turns shouldn't be a problem it wouldn't surprise me if he goes wire to wire from the inside I'll use him on the ticket as a wise guy playing that late pick four but to recount my selection for the 8th from Will Rogers let's take the six horse Cherokee Legacy give kudos to the one horse Rowdy River um, 6173 Super 61 your multi race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid 5 good luck everybody